Welcome to my short video where I'm gonna show you how to relax your neck and shoulder very quickly so you not need more than five minutes and it will come really handy when you have spent in front of the computer hours and hours working or you know just surfing on the internet that we do it is really important to take care of our neck and shoulder uh, because it stiffens up and that big uh, tension in our shoulder and then also our head can feel like this and like that and then you will feel pain in your neck on the sides or often in the back of the neck and I thought of just sharing with you a couple of very simple movements that you can do quickly each day maybe twice even a day and it will help you to maintain health in your neck and your shoulders and it will also help you stay calm during the day yeah, so let's just start you can sit up on a chair like myself have your feet on the floor or if you want to do it in front of your desk or on the couch then just sit up a little bit higher up as you would do by your desk pull your spine out of the hips yeah put your hands on your legs relax your shoulders and first we're just gonna lift the shoulder up and drop the shoulder down a couple of times yeah very simply inhale lift the shoulders up <sighs> exhale out through the mouth and drop the shoulders down yeah repeat it in your own time <sighs> don't be afraid to make funny noise yeah let the air just pass through your mouth as you exhale Think of your belly, you can even put your hands there as you exhale, try to exhale through your belly, through the mouth but from your belly, yeah? So now, five or six rounds, six rounds in your own time. You can keep your eyes open or close them, whatever suits you better, yeah? Let's do it together. And last time. And that's enough. Okay, just stay uh, seated, close your eyes, think of the top of your head and lift the top of your head towards the ceiling, pull your shoulders back and down and feel yourself sitting up straight. Feel your feet on the ground and your hands on your legs. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows towards the side of your body and take a deep cycle of breath like this. After you exhale, just open your eyes and look at me and see what I'm doing. And you're gonna just tilt the head over the right shoulder like that. Right ear releases towards the right shoulder. Left ear leaves away or lifts away from the left shoulder. Just allow your head to become heavy until you feel the stretch across the whole left side of the neck. And then simply with your right hand, push back your head into the upright position. Wait a moment. Think of the top of your head, lift it towards the ceiling, and as you exhale, tilt your head over your left shoulder. Relax your face. You can have your eyes open or closed. Keep on breathing steadily and release your left ear towards the left shoulder and lift the right ear away from your right shoulder. From breathing, allow your head to become heavy and feel and wait for the extension to happen towards the right side of the neck. Now, place your left hand on your face, push it back and stay here for a moment. Okay, let's do it again. This time, we're just going to tilt the head and stretch the left arm out. So you lift the left hand away from your left ear, yeah? So the extension will happen through the neck shoulder and the arm and the arm and put the hand on the leg come back to your center line lift the top of your head towards the ceiling bring your eyes to eye level your chin be parallel with the ground let's go to the second side release your left ear towards the left shoulder straighten out the right arm on your right side and lift the fingers towards the floor of the right hand away from the right Keep on breathing. And now just put the hand on the leg, lift your head back to the center line and take a refreshing cycle of breath. Okay, now we're going to go circle through the chin, kneeling forward. Exhale, inhale. Yeah, 
Don't let the lips on feel it back there. And then move the chin in a circular way. Okay, in the back. And there is a chance that you hear crackling sounds coming from the back of your brain. Never mind, just make smaller circles, keep on breathing and do another three rounds. Move the chin. Draw the circles with the chin. That's enough. Come back to the starting position and we go back with the chin close to the neck, pull down to the front, up away from the chest and back. Exhale, inhale. And keep your mind in your chin and see those circles, feel those circles being drawn in the air with the chin. You can close your eyes if it helps you concentrate better. And another time. And then just bring the head back to starting position and take a nice deep cycle of breaths. Refresh yourself. Okay? So now we're going to do little circles with our head. So close the eyes or keep them open, whatever suits you better. And allow your head to circle on the top of your neck. Again, it's likely that your head is going to crackle from here inside your head. Then just make smaller circles and make sure that your lips are not tightly closed. Yeah? Lips are a little bit lifted open and your teeth are released. Yeah? Carry on, do one more circle and then come back to the starting position. Sit up straight with your chin parallel with the ground, eyes at eye level. Lift the top of the head towards the ceiling and hold the whole spine long and tall. Take a deep cycle of breath and we go in the opposite direction. And one side will be easier than the other. If you can't remember which side follows, which side is your second side, do one circle on one side. And then another circle in the opposite direction. And whichever feels less familiar, that's the side you want to do now, yeah? So continue with the less familiar side, another four or five rounds. Keep on breathing, keep your lips slightly lifted away from each other and your teeth unclenched. One more time, and then come back to your starting position. Sit up straight, take a deep cycle of breath, inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Repeat that and then just wait for a little moment until I show you the next and last exercise that we're going to be doing today in this short neck and shoulder release. Yeah? So it will be really easy. Feet on the floor, straight spine, and you turn your head over your right shoulder. And exhalation by exhalation, you try to bring your chin a little bit more above that shoulder. And now exhale, come back to your center now. Wait a little bit. Maybe you are dizzy, yeah? That's fine, yeah? That's normal. I am dizzy a little bit. Tiny little bit, but I can feel it. So wait until your breath settles down. And then as you exhale, turn over the second shoulder. Turn and twist. Bring the chin again. Move over in that direction. You don't have to push like I do. Just Move the chin, you will feel the stretch across the neck and the top of the chest. Exhale and come back to your center line. Now we're going to add a little bit of arm movement to that. So your left hand is going to hold the outer side of your right thigh. And the other hand will go behind you and grab the chair behind you. Yeah? And then you pull this leg, the right leg in the direction of the left hip. So over and turn your head. And you twist around your waist, but you also move your hand, yeah? So if I turn this way, as you can see it better. So the hand is behind me holding the chair. With this hand, I'm pushing the leg over and I'm twisting. Keep on breathing, yeah? It's a twist, so we always forget to breathe. So inhale, don't move. Exhale, apply energy with your arms through the leg. Lean a little bit back, move. Inhale, stop. Exhale, move. One more cycle of breath and then just turn back to the starting position and wait a little bit wait a little bit again take a deep cycle of breath <sighs> see we go to the second side 
Right hand goes the other side of your left thigh. Other hand goes behind you. And then you start twisting. You always start to twist from beneath, from the hips. So as you turn, don't turn the head just behind you. Keep the head casually. And then you, with your arm, with your hand, you pull the leg. You turn and twist, exhalation by exhalation. And to this side, it's the same. Yeah? So you put the other hand behind you. With this you pull the leg and you turn as you exhale, as you inhale your weight. Exhale, use your arm and as you to turn and weight. Exhale, turn, pull the leg away from the hip and then just turn back to your center line. And again, if you are a bit dizzy or it feels unusual, that's fine. Yeah? But just stop now for a few cycles of that. Yeah, can you feel there is much more air, much more oxygen flowing into your whole body. And maybe you feel a little bit lighter, but that is fine, don't worry, that's natural. So I think that was enough for a, a short practice. I promised you five minutes, probably it is around five minutes, so we can finish our shoulder and neck release. And I hope you enjoyed it. So the last uh, practice we will do together, which is, uh, it's very easy, you just bring the hands together, Namaskarasana. This is how we call when you're putting your hands together in praying position and you connect with your heart. Yeah? So you can close your eyes, think of the touch between your thumb and your chest, your heart region. Relax your face and as you exhale, bow your head simply to your hands, to your heart. Bow to your heart. Release your chin towards your neck. Close your eyes, from top to bottom. Keep on breathing. Center yourself. Thank yourself for this practice, for making time in your life to practice today. That's the end of your practice for today. You can open your eyes slowly. And as you come back, you bring your peace and calm with you. I wish you with that a nice day. May it be morning, may it be afternoon or evening. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay well, take care and hope to see you again. Namaste.